I can try one more go at it. And I got a mouse in my house. I'm gonna set up camp here. We are going to... Right on. Fans of your channel. He's flapping on the, in this area here. Was the old mighty grouse. There's a lot more meat in a goddamn rainbow than there is in a grouse. It's just like a chicken breast, really. Man, that's really good. Look at that. Good morning, guys. I got a mouse in my van. Never had a mouse in my van before. I knew this day would come. It's just a matter when. I could hear the little guy all last night too and I couldn't tell if it was a mouse or some kind of raccoon that was underneath my van or doing something and yeah, it's like, I don't know. Shit, that's no good. never brought my van up this road, but I, I thought I'd try it. I wouldn't be able to get past that spot. I'd probably have another go at it, but I don't think it's worth it. Like, I was trying to get up there, you guys. Um, after that steep section, there's one more steep section, but once you get through those two spots, then it's easy going all the way back there. But even with those new tires, um, I think it's just it's too much. I could try one more go at it. Maybe I should do one more go at it, but then I have to back all the way down here again like I just did, which is pretty sketchy. Oh, doing this with my van. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I made it. Woohoo. Oh, the air is cool up here. a little break. <sighs> I love this spot, man. I love this spot. Oh, this would be a great place for a fire tonight. And uh, look at this view, guys. You're, you're right on the edge of this. You see all out here, the Squamish Valley. That's the forest fire that I was looking at this year. That was a forest fire that happened this year. I've seen that on the uh, forest fire map. And that's exactly where they said it was. And I got a mouse in my house.
Just like that, the mouse came out of the van and it went onto the road. Where are you, buddy? Let's see him under there. There he is. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I got rid of that guy. Moseyed off to a new home. There we go. That should keep it from rolling all the way down there. <gasps> I got the e-brake on as well, and it's in park, so it should be totally fine. But it's kind of eerie when you park right on the edge of literally one of these. Anyway. I'm gonna set up camp here and just sort of relax for the day. Um, I'll probably end up going for a walk. There's a place I wanna go, you guys. It's kind of why I came up this way. And I, that road that I just drove up was, well, it was pretty difficult. It was a challenge on the van. So I'm gonna go for a walk today and walk all the road all the way to the next spot I'm hoping to get to and see what the condition of the road is. So uh, if it's all good, then I'll come back and then tomorrow I'll probably make that drive first thing in the morning or either tonight or something like that. I'll probably stay here tonight. And then uh, I'm gonna go on a hike tomorrow. So where I want to go is way up in there. So I've been wanting to go back to this little spot up there for a long time. It's just super beautiful. Um, there's a little lake up there, so I'm going to bring my, my fishing rod and hopefully it all goes well. It was a really hot summer, so a lot of that glacier stuff has melted off this season. Normally those mountains are still covered with quite a bit of snow. Sometimes when I come out to these places and I see a beautiful spot like this, I kind of want to put a little bit of myself into the space and maybe improve upon it a little bit like I just did. And that way I'm leaving it behind where somebody else can come and enjoy it and they'll appreciate that, wow, somebody else put some time and energy into like fixing this up and making it look a little bit better than it was or this is a great spot. So anyway, that's that's that. And it's turning out to be a beautiful day. Wowee. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful up there? This place is pretty beautiful. I love it because pretty well 360. I've got something to look at. And I've stayed here before. It's a really lovely spot. Pretty nice.
how's that? That's way better. And um, I'm onto a little project here before I go anywhere. I tested out a new headlight. So I got this LED in here. Here, check it out. Here's a little clip. So the LED is the one that's on the left. And if I throw the high beams on, it seems a little bit better as well. What I wanted to do was just try the one out and see how it compared. And now that I've got an idea, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch these out. That's it. So I'll hang on to this one in the van and keep it as a spare. At least I know they're independent of each other, so I could always throw this in if I end up burning one of these lights out. That little mouse might still be in here. of your channel are you yeah all oh, right on yeah, cool me and my wife i'm gonna do you mind if i take a picture of your van not at all yeah go for it nice right on what's your name my, tom tom nice to yeah. meet you yeah, yeah you nice having a good day you. yeah beautiful day got a bit of a problem with the back tire here oh it, do you need tire. do you need some air i do need air but um i got air compressor about oh, 100 okay. yards that way is yeah. it are you that close i don't want to make you walk all the way yeah back man I are do. You sure? yeah, yeah for <laughs> sure <laughs> probably need you to get it over by your van. Yeah, I'm just at the back. So if you pull it up back here, we'll, we'll yeah. pull it away. Oh, well, yeah, you got the good tires. That's great. I just got those yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I got a fridge on this side, some water. You're right. Those are good. Big store. Yeah. 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 You do a little fishing, the whole work. Self self survival. Yeah, today today a little uh hopefully I get a grouse and we could yeah, yeah, fire yeah. And... I had one years ago, I didn't tell you this time on Cypress, coming down a little trail and I was flying, all of a sudden this grouse lands on in me and then sits there and he's flapping on the in this area here and I'm kinda trying to ride the bike without crashing. Like he flew right up into Yeah, out of the bush. He, yeah. It was his mess up, but he couldn't get out because I was traveling pretty quick. Yeah. But it was quite a shock, but then I realized I could have had dinner. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's got to grab him by the head. Yes. Yeah, snap yeah. 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 Well, It'll work. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So. I guess they can outrun bears, too, or outfly or whatever they try. Yeah. They hadn't come Ready? out yet, yeah. though. Isn't that sweet? So, you got a PSI thing on there? Yeah. Yeah, you just... Uh, So they haven't come out, nice. obviously, the guy. Because I saw the treads, they went up a different road. Do you mind if I snap a photo? No, no, not oh, at all. Yeah, I go for it. Camera. I got my camera back. Just, oh, I think it's just about ready. I overfroze it, so. Oh, that's just, perfect. Just give it 10 minutes and it'll be ready to drink. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, the man. The worst in a warm beer, especially can. <laughs> no, no, I, I keep them in my fridge when I can, yeah, so. No, I'm yeah. jealous. You got you. Here we go. If I ever give up my license plate, I'll look you up. BC for me. Hang on, I'll turn around and I'll smile for you. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Thanks a lot, Joseph. That's yeah, you're welcome, Paul. Nice yeah, to meet thanks. you, man. Thanks for today, man. That's, that's amazing. I, I'm running on a Kojak with a new tire to go on. Ah, oh, wow. I love it when things work out that way. It's like a synchronicity in a way. It's like those guys get a flat tire, they're a subscriber, small world. I'm out in the back country and they find me and it's like I can use my air compressor to help you out. Tom, it was really good to meet you. Peter, you too. Um, that really kind of added something to my day that I couldn't have gotten otherwise. So thanks for uh, stopping and saying hi. Anyway, I'm going to uh, gonna carry on with my walk. <laughs> I literally, guys, I just walked down there 100 yards and then I ran into them. So I'm going to carry on. Nice day. Really, really enjoying it. Was the old matey grouse. I got some dinner. Woohoo! <laughs> 
that's all right. That is like a chicken of the woods, similar to that. So anyway, I'm gonna fix this guy up and make some grouse schnitzel. Wild food. To me, this is way better than going to a grocery store and buying a chicken. There, you know, it's a whole different industry when it comes to that. So in this case, this bird got to live a pretty wild free life until just now. But uh, in spirit, like, you know, I sort of feel like there is a synchronicity behind this. Anyway. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way back to uh, to the van. Could almost use another shower. Huh. Wow, we this is lovely to see this. It must be growing because of the fire, but uh, that's fireweed. Hmm. That's a really nice treat this time of year. All that stuff's usually long gone by now. There's more of it down in there. Wonder if I could get back here by springtime and uh, see if we can find some morels in this. I've never picked morels, I've never seen them before. That'd be pretty awesome though. That guy down there has been working there all day. I'm gonna go ask him if he knows anything about the fire. I used to go over there and your kids and, and they're all the same size because it all just matured, right? But now they, they're, they're spawning and little creeks come in and shit. So now there's like fucking big rainbow in there, right? Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, shit, maybe I'll go over there for a catch yeah, a cook video. Yeah. There's a lot more meat in a goddamn rainbow than there is in a grouse. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I, you, you got that right. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, his name is Rolf, and he's uh, he's really into hiking. So he's been you know, sharing all kinds of hiking stories, mountains and stuff. He's been up all over the place around here, and he's got a few more hikes he's trying to bag before the end of the season. And it kind of reminded me of Forresty Forest. I was just <laughs> couldn't help but think of think of him while we were chatting. Anyway, he's gonna keep working. Oop! I think it just spooked another grouse. Yeah, well, I've got I got the saw at Summit with uh, two batteries at a nine amp and a twelve amp with a charger and the saw. It was on sale for six hundred bucks. See you later, Rolf. Yeah. He's from Squamish. Spends a lot of his time out here. And what he was doing over there is he was cutting cedar. And he's getting um, specific chunks of it. He's making cedar shakes for um, some people back in town. Anyway. I am back. And I'm going to get this fire going. Whew.
So I'm going to use my axe here and just try and pound it out. Well, gross initial. Here it is. I just uh, cut it all up. So in the first taste. so good <clears throat> here check it out it's just like a chicken breast really and it's very similar wow that's really good last year I only had one grouse all year so pretty special this year that I'm having this one with you guys it might be the only grouse that I have this year I see a fair bit of them throughout the season and stuff, but I often don't have a long enough opportunity to uh, to shoot one. So most of the time they catch you, they fly off. And a lot of guys that hunt them use a shotgun because that's, you can pretty much take a flying shot at that point. And I suppose I'm a bit of a unusual person because I'm using a 30 odd six with a reduced load. Mm. Man, that's really good. I got a little bit of this barbecue sauce for very special occasions. So I'm gonna have some of that with this because <clears throat> um, that's just an excellent combination. That's pretty good. I'm all ready for bed, but that little fire out there is doing pretty good. Hmm, it's nice having fires again. Uh oh, snap went the mouse trap. Got him. Uh -oh. 